Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll show you how you can make a simple 12 volts to 40 volts DC to DC boost converter and it can be easily modified to output up to about 120 volts DC. It's based on the 555 timer I see, which is configured as a PWM generator. Connect a 1 kilo ohm resistor from the VCC to pin 7, connect pin 4 and 8 to VCC, pin 1 to ground, pin 5 to ground through a 10 nanofarads capacitor, pin 2 and 6 together and to ground through a 100 nanofarads capacitor. And the 50 kilo ohms potentiometer allows you to adjust the duty cycle of the output with the help of these two diodes. The diodes you can use the 1 in for 1 for 3 diodes. So the output at pin 3 will be high when the capacitance 1 is charging and it will be low when it's discharging. So 1 will be charging through R1, through D1, and through one side of the potentiometer. And it will be discharging through the other side of the potentiometer, through D2, and the corrector pin of the distance transistor pin 7. So adjusting the position of the middle terminal of the potentiometer allows you to change the resistances across the each side of the potentiometer and this will allow you to change the output duty cycle. The higher the duty cycle, the higher the output voltage and vice versa. R2 limits the current from the output pin 3 since the triple 5 timer can source or sink a maximum of 200 mA. Just use a resistor that will allow you to output at least 100 mA and not more than 150 mA. The inductor is 100 microhenes. If you want more power, I recommend this one of about 20 microhenes. The MOSFET here depends on the voltage you want. The IRF Z44 has a maximum voltage rating of about 50 volts, so you can not obtain more than that without damaging the MOSFET. If you want more, I recommend to use the IRF 460, which can handle up to 500 volts, and with that, you can easily obtain more than 100 volts without a problem. The diode is 1N5817 short key diode for this purpose. If you want more voltage, I recommend you use the FR107 diodes and you can parallel more of those to boost the output peak current. The output capacitor should be written at least 100 microfarads and the voltage rating should be with the desired voltage setting. So this is the road and also even not the load, I recommend you put a minimum load with a resistance of about 4.7 kilo ohms and a wattage of about 3 watts. This will allow the output capacitor not to overcharge and possibly get destroyed. This has a wattage of about 30 to 60 watts with the correct parameters. Ensure that you operate the IC to operate at a high frequency of about 20 kHz or the 800 kHz so to ensure that the capacitor changes and discharges fast enough to keep the output footage stable as well as the inductor does not saturate to short circuit your uh, But With that being said, don't forget to like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more amazing projects and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a nice time.